everyone. Welcome to Digital 808 Storytellers, a program for Maui County student filmmakers. I'm Sam. And I'm Jason. During this program, we're going to show you the winning entries from our 2024 video contest, and you'll get a chance to see some of the best digital films from Maui County students. So, what is Digital 808 Storytellers? Well, it's really two things in one. First, it's a web resource specifically designed for Maui County video students to see work done by their local peers. Yeah, they have many videos created by schools like Baldwin High School, the Haina Intermediate, King Kaulike High School, and more. The other part of Digital 808 Storytellers is hosting an annual contest for Maui County Schools, where students can win new video equipment for their school. Isn't that awesome? Did you know Hawaii video students often rank among the best in the nation? Let's check out some of the many documentaries that were submitted. Hello everyone, I am Amy Anchera and I teach Korean at Baldwin High School. I moved to Hawaii from Korea uh, when I was 13 years old. I was in the eighth grade. I was very young. <laughs> My family, like any other immigrant family, uh, the reason they moved probably is for better life, better opportunities for us, the children. It took a quite long time for me to understand what people were saying, but my ears open before my mouth. All about a year for me to really understand, comprehend what I was hearing. Maybe another half a year for me to start speaking to others and having conversations. Oh, I have to mention Miss Carrie about learning English here. She was a dedicated teacher who uh, I would say maybe inspired me to become a teacher too. She's, she was new to Hawaii too, just like me, and she uh, asked me to stay back after school and uh, we, we just went through vocabulary. We learned maybe 30 words, new words uh, a day, and we just studied. Hawaii Sharing my culture helps others understand me and that's done through understanding each other's culture and background. And for us to live harmoniously, I think it's important that we understand each other. I think the initial assessment. The great thing about crime scene investigation is that it's always challenging. Uh, you think of and you hear people talk about their work and their job is very monotonous and boring and it's the same, same every day. But the great thing about crime scene investigation is because it's so different. Every scene is different. Every scene is unique. Um, so there's two parts of work that I really like. I like how diverse it is. So for me, it's really rewarding going to work every day and not necessarily knowing what's going to happen. We don't have a regular, you know, nine to five job. We are on call 24 seven. Every call you get is different. Every case is different. The people you interact with are different every day. Um, so I do like the diversity of the work. I find that really rewarding because every day is exciting. I am very interested in the blood spotter portion of the camp just because I always been very interested in DNA and blood. I don't know why, I just always have. I just find it kind of fascinating how it tells a story. And especially with blood stain analysis, it tells a completely different story from what you may think happened. Whether it be blood spotter against the wall or if there was an object in the way, it just it can tell you so many different things about a crime scene. Um, becoming a firefighter is the first hurdle, at least in Maui County. And uh, once you become a firefighter, 
learning as much as you can about fire dynamics and um, the, the foundational principles of fire. I really liked the part of fingerprinting where we were trying to figure out what kind of prints we had ourselves. It was just interesting to see what kind everybody had, who had the wearer's type, who had normal, and just seeing the directions it went in. My police department's fingerprint identification technician, Donna Miguel, says that fingerprints play a crucial role in the criminal justice system and help solve crime. Miguel says it's rewarding for her to identify fingerprints from a crime scene. It's like solving a brain teaser puzzle. Sometimes it takes hours and possibly even days to identify one print. Foot impressions are very similar to fingerprints. They take a concrete-like mixture and mix it with water and pour it over the prints. It helps solidify prints in dirt. Many people use hairspray to prevent the print from getting messed up during the impression process. Just like fingerprints, foot impressions allow you to see the soles of the shoes, to see the imperfections, and help identify the suspect. In the bullet trajectory portion, they gave us these cardboard boxes with holes in them and rods, and they told us to figure out the angle that the bullet went through. Um, it was really interesting because they actually shot the boxes. Here, at her, all right? And then she takes a fall. And she's falling, I shoot her again. It's really important in CSI work because it can tell us where the shooter was standing when the shots were fired. Um, but I think the hardest part of the bullet trajectory was trying to get the rod through the hole at the right angle. I like seeing a lot of the different drugs that we get on Maui. You know, you read about it in the news, but we get to actually analyze and make positive identifications. And then, you know, we get to testify in court and see you know, the outcome of all the hard work that we put into the analysis and data analysis that we do. Axis deer is one of the greatest evasive species problems for Maui. Within the last 20 years, the population has grown so much to where I don't know if there's going to be an answer for it anymore. The Axis deer are thriving on Maui because um, they really don't have any natural predators. Also, there's issues with access to hunting these animals on private land versus public land. And the environment, the adapt so much, so easily to um, what they have to eat and the terrain, they can, they can um, get away from hunters so easily and just the adaptability of these animals in their environment is the, the greatest thing that they have. The, the greatest issues you know, without even predators that's that's the biggest issue a relationship with axis deer started in uh, my early 20s when I got introduced to hunting axis deer through a good friend of mine and ever since then it's just it's that's what I love to hunt, and I love the challenge. My, my dad, he, he had a saxophone and he, he played it during um, his time in middle school at Lokilani Intermediate. And so I was just exposed to it at a young age.
I feel like the, the sax is my main thing in life, you know. That's kind of what I put the most time into. That's kind of what people know me for. The feeling of playing the sax, it's, uh, it's almost um, relaxing and, and fun, you know, being able to you know, create something cool in music, you know. I put a lot of effort into the sax because I, I would say since sixth grade, I've had the goal of being the, the best sax player around. But as, as I've matured, I feel like that, that goal has kind of changed into just wanted to, to create something, you know, create music. A very out of tune issue. This is probably like one of the most out of tune instruments. Because in your right hand notes, these ones tend to be like really flat or sound really sharp. And if your left hand notes, they tend to be like really, really flat. There, there, there's been times where I've thought about like, is this, is this actually worth it? Is this something that will be valuable in the future? And I'd say that I've overcome those, uh, those falters in motivation by keeping my, my sight on my final goal, you know. I, I wish I could stay at, you know, Manoa, because, you know, closer to home and all that. But I feel like to improve myself, I get better, learn more, I think I'd, I'd have to go to ASU in Arizona or UNT in Texas. I've, I've compared you know, the, the, the music communities from the mainland to here on Maui and comparing, comparing the two, it's, you know, the, the music community on Maui, it's, like not, it's not as big as I, as I wished it were. I think with the things that I learned in college, I want to bring it back here to Maui. You know, I want to make it better. Everybody wants to support local right now. And I feel like it's a great movement that came out of COVID. My name is Glory. I'm the owner of Dolish and Wailuku Food Trucks at 1960 Main Street, Wailuku. Um, I started by myself here and then slowly tenants started to join me. But what's great about this space is the bells and whistles of it. We have our own parking lot, we have restrooms, and then we're on the um, Main Street. I chose a food truck over a storefront or a brick and mortar just because um, the startup cost number one and then just uh, daily operations and creativity of the menu, uh, more freedom as a business owner, but then also like doing a food truck versus a store. I could travel, take it with me, do events, um, private caterings and so forth. Yeah, sometimes when you open a regular brick and mortar restaurant, then you know, the, the rent is a lot higher and there's a lot more overhead. And so you're stuck in there for longer hours in the day. When I started my food truck 15 years ago, there was only like three food trucks on the island. And then I actually put together the first food truck pod over in Wailuku. And ever since then, there's just been a lot of food truck pods popping up. And within all the different pods is like a good food truck community. You know what I mean? I feel like as food truck owners, um, that live, work on Maui, we rely on the local community. Um, tourism helps us, but it's just extra for us. Like we rely on the local communities. So I knew that this space could help other businesses um, with events and uh, we could have our businesses go full circle with giving back to the community. I feel like when I started Dolish, yes, it was to sustain my livelihood, um, but it was also to give back. You know, for the most part, it's giving me uh, a lot of pleasure serving people the food that I make from all over the world. I feel like the people and the connections I have made through this business is more than the sales I make. You know, it's like I feel like I'm happy and I'm proud and it makes my, it feeds my soul doing what I'm doing. What is HOSA? HOSA stands for Health Occupation Students of America and it's just an international organization that kind of helps people who are interested in going to the healthcare pathway, um, better prepare them for the future, provide them with community service, even scholarships at some points and competition wise as well. Tell us about the upcoming event that will be coming up for HOSA. So next week, we have a competition, our HOSA State Competition. It's happening in Oahu. Uh, it's where 
all of students in HOSA that are competing meet up and compete at their own events. For this event, I'll be competing in clinical laboratory science. Right now, um, one of the big events that I'm going to be hosting for HOSA, since I'm the president for that club, is we're actually going to bring in an ambulance from American Medical Response here at Lahaina Base. They'll be coming up to guest speak for um, my committee under HOSA. Um, try to get people interested in EMS as well. What is your favorite experience with HOSA? Teaching what I like to do. Um, basically, I'm really passionate about EMS, emergency medical services, and HOSA had allowed me to do that. So as of right now, I'm just teaching kind of EMS on the side, along with Ms. Shimo, and that has been a great pleasure on doing. My favorite experience in HOSA is the community service. So last year, Kumpuna r and &R held a ball for our community seniors, and I had so much fun volunteering for that. And also, I really enjoyed planning and witnessing our Lahaina Luna students donate blood and save lives. What are your plans after high school, and will you be continuing your health pathway? Um, I plan to become a flight paramedic for the state of Hawaii. Um, it's, we're on a shortage for flight paramedics, so I really want to become one. Um, after high school, I plan on going to UH West Oahu, get my bachelor's in disaster preparedness, then go into UHMC, do the EMT program there, and then work my way up all the way until I become a flight paramedic. My plans for high school is to apply for this program called Medical technician, oh, medical, medical laboratory technician. Uh, and then I want to work my way up to become a clinical laboratory scientist. Okay, so what got you interested in Hosa? So at first, I was encouraged by my family to go into Health Pathway. And I also saw my upperclassmen and I thought they were really cool and professional. So I wanted to be like them. I knew I always wanted to do something in healthcare. I was kind of a nerd back in middle school. I was always learning about anatomy, especially the heart. At first, I wanted to become a trauma surgeon, um, and that kind of fueled me to go into HOSA and Health Pathway because I wanted to pursue that path. And then I found out about EMS and continued on on that path. So, yeah. All right, and what was it like winning bronze for CPR and first aid last year? We did not expect to win. <laughs> we came out of the competition room and we were like, nah, <laughs> we're not gonna make it top 10. And when we got called on to stage, that was like, whoa. And then when we got called on for like the third place spot, <sighs> that, was, that was amazing. Um, I really enjoyed it on the competition wide, but also the networking part of competitions. I got to meet a lot of, um, paramedics at Texas and I made connections there so it was really cool. Uh, it was an amazing and unforgettable moment so I met a lot of people all around the United States and that was an amazing experience because I see like different cultures and like being able to talk to them about what I'm interested in healthcare so that was really cool. And what's your favorite part about HOSA? Uh, my favorite part, again, was the community service and like competing. So like, I never thought I would compete. I'm not really into competitions, but HOSA made me um, raise my confidence and meet lots of new people. I mean, there's no words to describe the fires that uh, devastated the whole town of Lahaina. In August 2023, Maui firefighters were called to duty to fight not one, but three fires on Maui. Ray Watanabe, my stepfather, was one of them. My role during the Lahaina wildfire, because there were three separate fires going on at the same time, my role was uh, driving a relief truck to the Lahaina area and assigned to the Wahikuli district. Although he's a current resident and firefighter at the Kahului Fire Station, his connection with Lahaina is personal and runs deep. Oh, growing up in Lahaina was awesome. Um, I had a twin brother, so, you know, we did a lot of things together. I came from the old Pioneer Mill area. We had our little 
little rat pack, I want to call it, of guys and girls, girls, and then we just hung out and played and then just did, did a lot of things together, like normally kids can, can't do today. As you know, Lahaina is a small knit community. Everybody's pretty close on a daily basis. It just affected a lot of people, including myself. I, I don't live in Lahaina anymore, but it, it affected me a lot because I know family and friends still missing, things of that nature. Since the fires, Watanabe and his colleagues have been a part of another way to give to the community, volunteering in schools. He says it's been a healing outlet for everyone. Was was asked to volunteer and read read to uh, children up country, at one of the up country schools, and that was great because we get a lot of support. But the kids were really appreciative um, of the work we did up there, and it really hits home when they tell you thank you and stuff like that. Despite the challenges of being a firefighter, Watsonabe says he enjoys his job and will continue to support his community throughout his years. There's always going to be a lot of uh, negative experiences, but to me, the positive outweigh the negative experiences, especially when you help people and not getting any kind of reward from it. I just, I just enjoy what we do. The people that I've run in from Lahaina have been very kind to me, keep on telling us to keep doing the good work that we do. My name is Alexis Kahui, and I teach the automotive class, foundations, and MLR. This elective is special because so many different industries depend on this particular industry. Not to mention a lot of our students start driving at this age, so they start learning life skills on how to take care of the vehicle, as well as career choices in this particular industry. Uh, we have a wide variety of uh, work going on here, um, a wide variety of skills. Anything from oil changes to brakes to steering suspension and sometimes some major overhauls depending on the customer and the vehicle. Yeah, I feel like we're the unsung heroes. A lot of what we do is happens behind the scenes. What we do can directly affect a life. Uh, for example, brakes, um, that, that is a safety issue when it comes to vehicles. So us performing those kinds of repairs, make sure that we keep our customers safe on the road. And then it also ties into like EMTs and firefighters. They save lives and they also have people fixing their vehicles. So it's kind of a ripple effect. So what we did was we worked on the cars in order to get them in running condition. And once they're good enough to run, we would donate them to people who lost their cars in the fires for Lahaina. Sometimes there's things that are modified or things that are um, broken due to terrain and wear and tear and our elements um, that doesn't necessarily fall into a, a book repair. So sometimes our students or our technicians need to think out of the box in order to get the job done. They also create resumes. So as the year progresses, their skill sets grow. And at the end of each year, they'll have a finished resume that they can actually take um, to get a job. We're not doing anything. We haven't done anything in almost six months. Dan Blackburn of FNH Construction is referring to Maui Waina Intermediate's only field behind me. This field has been under construction and unusable since the beginning of the school year. We started construction during the summer months. Uh, we were supposed to be wrapped up there sh shortly thereafter. Uh, unfortunately, we ran into a, a native Hawaiian burial site. That created a delay in the project. This uh, state, I don't believe they had funding uh, set aside to deal with the issue. So they had to go back and get additional funding. And that took uh, some time. With the discovery of the remains, Cultural practitioners were needed to ensure the remnants of the body were treated with respect and handled properly. But the need for the improved field is urgent. The field was, was extremely hard. They felt it was a safety issue because it was clay. And uh, so if your kid uh, fell and, and hit your head on it, you could, you could have some serious damage. The new field, it's a, it's a much softer design. With over 1,100 students on campus and over half of them enrolled into a PE class, it has not been an easy year for the teachers or the students. Just not having the area or the space for the kids to, to be at has been very difficult for the students to learn what we've, we've, want, we've always 
had to teach. Not being able to use the field has affected um, our students here by not having uh, an area for them to, to run around and, and be loud. So we've been using outside classrooms, wherever there's space, um, in front of the library, around any grassy area that we can come up with. It was supposed to have been all completed by January, and here we are, it's February, and we're still waiting on a job that's not done yet. Our students have been using our fire lanes as their PE classes. They're using it as their play space in hallways in between classes. And it's just, it's not a safe area. Not only are the PE classes impacted, the after school sports programs have been getting creative with their soccer and flag football practices. I feel like it kind of strips away from our practices because we're limited to only one space. It really, it really breaks my heart because at the middle school age, students need a, a common ground to play on. Ms. McCandless is hopeful that they'll be able to kick off next school year with a field that is finished and usable. My name is Audrey Payet. I'm a senior at Baldwin High School and I take culinary class. So I took culinary to enhance my cooking skills. I also wanted to meet new people and just learn different recipes to maybe cook at home one day. So some of the things we get to learn in this class are basic culinary skills that you would need. We learn about cutting, basic sanitary precautions, and how to handle food properly. Right now we're doing fried rice. They're learning cutting skills as well as cooking skills. They also do a whole unit on baking, from cookies to quick breads to cakes and possibly yeast breads. And we do, we'll do soups, we'll do braising, we'll do all the different cooking methods that we, I can get to them within this year. I think the most rewarding thing is when they can create a meal and prepare a meal from beginning to end. They, they prepare it, they plan it, everything from beginning to end. So being in this class gives me the opportunity to work with other people and to try new things that we haven't done before. I would say the most rewarding aspect is to is just trying the food right after you cook it. I suggest taking culinary arts because even if you're not going into the culinary arts field and the industry, the food service industry, it's a great skill to have. It's a life skill as you know, I feel like if you can cook you can survive. This year, we've come up with a new category, social media promotion. In this new category, students must create a social media promotion that promotes an aspect of their school, such as a class, a club, event, team, or school culture. Let's see what they've come up with. Welcome to my shop. There's a lot of building and there's a lot of construction work. Um, we do a lot of things in class, but a lot of them are like hands-on. You know, I actually do enjoy them. It's a good mix of students from different cultures. I like them all. I can say I really do. Even though this class has like mostly guys in it, it's still fun for me and it feels like I'm included and the teacher makes it like fair. This class is open for not just a guy class, but you know, it's for everyone. 
Um, construction is a really fun class and I see myself using a lot of the things we learn in the future. The Haina Luna was founded in 1831 by missionaries and has been around ever since. The Haina Luna is located above Lahaina Luna Road overlooking Lahaina. The first printing press is located in this first school called Halipai. The alma mater and Okoaloa are the two special songs the school sings. Lahaina Luna is a school filled with school spirits and pride. If you love being outside, and if you love getting your hands dirty, agriculture is the way for you. And if you like being around plants, if you like growing your own food, and just, if you also like eating a lot, agriculture is a really good class for you. Instead of you having to do classwork almost all day, it's kind of like a stress-free, and you can just surround yourself with friends and people you hang out with, you know what I mean? The feeling of being able to eat what we grew, it feels like a award to us. Being able to grow food, harvest food, and know how to cook it and eat it is so important for our students, just community members. Very important life skill that every student should have um, experience in agriculture. There are stories everywhere, whether it be out in the open or hidden deep within, you have to look. From the Manka to Makai, we've traveled all over the island to share the voices of the community, building connections, and learning life lessons along the way. But we still have one story left to tell. We are the Myrwater Media Team. Here's our story. Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm Film and media production is entertaining. Entertaining. Creative. 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 You know, kids get to use their creative minds and produce whatever they want. It's actually one of the great classes to use your creative mindset. The best part about being in this class is the friends you make. Being able to make videos with my friends. Best part is definitely the people because you can learn a lot of things from other students. So students teach me that they can totally meet expectations that you set for them. They teach me that, you know, no matter how high it is, they, they can do it. And a lot of times they don't even think they can do it. And then when they do it and they win things and they, they get these awards and recognition, it's like, it's really awesome to see.
at Lahaina Luna, we offer different sports like football, baseball, basketball, and many more. Here are some of the highlights for you to check out. The games are fun to attend and it's a great way to meet up and socialize with your friends. So interested in joining? Well now is a great time. Many teams are looking for you to join. Make sure to attend the meetings. Hope to see you guys at the games or on the team. Like how we did that one. The food king. Power steering pools this weekend. So we're like walk We're absolutely game. So great for locking up. My name is Alexis Kahui, and I teach the automotive class, foundations, and MLR. Uh, we have a wide variety of uh, work going on here. Anything from oil changes to brakes to steering suspension and sometimes some major overhauls. Yeah, I feel like we're the unsung heroes. A lot of what we do is happens behind the scenes. What we do can directly affect a life. Uh, for example, brakes, that is a safety issue when it comes to vehicles. So us performing those kinds of repairs, make sure that we keep our customers safe on the road. My name is Audrey Payet. I'm a senior at Baldwin High School and I take culinary class. So some of the things we get to learn in this class are basic culinary skills that you would need we learn about cutting, basic sanitary precautions, and how to handle food properly. So being in this class gives me the opportunity to work with other people and to try new things that we haven't done before. I would say the most rewarding aspect is to, it's just trying the food right after you cook it. Honestly, I love culinary. I look forward to it throughout my day, and I recommend everyone to take it. Now, we bring you this year's public service announcements. These videos are intended to inform or persuade the public about an issue. The work is thought provoking, and I think you enjoy what they've been doing. Vaping can be pretty harmful to the body, especially the lungs. It can cause lung cancer and asthma. When inhaling the fruity smoke, your brain is also affected. It can cause a nicotine addiction or permanent damage to the brain. Your heart is also affected, making you more prone to heart attacks and strokes. So grab that piece of plastic and throw it away in the trash. Your lungs will thank you later. Sometimes, I just feel too tired. Too tired to get up in the morning. Too tired to maintain my relationships. Too tired to even care, really. They say every day is a new day. But my days just feel repetitive. Get up drive to school, sit in class, go home, do hours of homework, eat, shower, sleep, repeat. Every single day. It wasn't always like this. I used to be so good. But lately, the truth is, I'm just burnt out. Wanna hit? 
Now, what would you do in this situation? Um, sure, I guess. Let's look at the facts. If you do take the vape, your lungs will look something like this. Well, you may be thinking, what can this little thing do? Well, a lot actually. See these little raindrops? Well, picture them as particles of metal. When you vape, those particles of metal enter your lungs. According to the Library of Medicine, people who use e-cigarettes are more likely to have cancer or already have cancer. So think about it. Do you really want all of this in your lungs? Um, no thanks. Can't wait to go to the beach today. Did I forget anything? It's such a nice day today. Why is it taking this guy so long? Do you ever get tired seeing trash around Lahaina Luna High School campus? Don't ignore the problem, be the solution. Bugs me, do better. Litter bugs me, do better. The moral of the story is, littering bugs me. Do better. Stand by. Stand up against bullying. Say no, no to bullying. bullying. Just say no to bullying. And bullying before it ends a life. One more time, let's go. Gotta win back. What are you lost? No! This is the last of my child's college savings. All in. Alright. <gasps> oh, I won! Again. I lost again! This is all mine. How am I gonna tell my wife I just lost all my child's college savings? 
My wife left me, I have nothing left. I lost everything from gambling. Hey man, are you okay? I'm not, I lost everything from gambling. Man, I think this is why you should stop gambling. You can lose everything you own and love. It's not worth it. And finally, we bring you the short films. Entries in this category have been growing over the past several years, and the quality of the work continues to expand. All right, I'm recording. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Whoa. Whoa. Where am I? What is this place, man? What the... Is that someone's party at? Oh! What was that thing? Jason! Guys, this isn't funny, man. Where is everyone? Hello? Man. Where am I? What? Is that Kaysen's birthday cake? What is that doing here? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Where am I now? Is that a mirror? What is that thing? Oh my gosh. Oh frick. Where am I? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, not these birthday hats. Is, is that my camera? I just want to go home. Casey, 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 is that is that you? Oh freak! Oh freak! Oh freak! <laughs> ah!
Hey Liv, please call me back as soon as you can. So, something happened to your brother and I really need to talk to you. Have a, have a safe flight and remember that I love you. No, I can't. I have to do well on this test. I know. Didn't you see the answer key I sent to you? Kayla, I can't cheat. It's not right. Just come on. You only live once. You can't be studying all the time. Just think about it, please. Okay, I'll think about it. I'm telling you right now, I'm probably not going to do it. At least you're thinking about it. You're gonna say nothing, and neither of them are gonna find out. Cheating on her or something. Cheating on her. Uh, 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 forget I forget I have you inside. I think I'll I'll talk to you later. so dumb here. What was I even doing? I want them both, but what will Macy think? Hey, what's up? Man? Hey, Jerry. Can I come in? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Hey, bro. I love your new place, man. 
All right, thanks, but your sister's gonna like it more. Hey, bro, that's my sister, bro. All right, yeah, she's dude. my girlfriend, and I'm taking her prom, so I can say what I want. Okay, whatever, man. Where's your bathroom, bro? I gotta go piss. Uh, it's over there. Thank you. Knock yourself bro, out. Ain't no way that's a bathroom. It looks like a closet, bro. the heck? In the way? What does he mean by that? What does he mean by number two? That's his girlfriend. That's my sister, bro. Ain't no way, man. There's no way. It's my girlfriend, bro. Jerry, what are you doing? What is this? You don't get it, man. I need them both. Neither of them are gonna know. That is my sister and my girlfriend. I can't believe I trusted you. Screw you, bro. I'm not gonna defend you anymore. I'm telling them both. Hey, Jerry. What? No, what's that? Twelve forty five, where's the moon? Come over there. He's gonna come no, 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 no. Oh no, he can't come over here. You're gonna say nothing, and neither of them are gonna find out. Okay. Oh no, why is here? Why is here already? Hi, Greg. I'm um, first year. He he left already. Yeah, it's funny because uh, his car is still here. Um, he's he's just busy. He's just busy. Right. I'm gonna come inside. Like, where is he? I, I told you, man. He's just busy. You know. Yeah. Jerry? Don't go in there. Just don't go in there. I'll I'll pay you. Please, just just don't. You're crazy. What the hell? Whoa! Huh? Whoa! Hey! 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 Wait! What are you doing? I, I'm not gonna let you find out anything.
maybe let's not. Alex. Hey dude, what's up? Listen to me carefully. If I come to your house and knock on your door, do not let me in. What are you talking about, Alex? And why is your phone number all weird? Just listen to me. Do not let me in. Bro, I can see you outside. That is not me. I'm not the one outside your house. Do not let them in. Yeah, whatever, man. I'll meet you at the front door. Alex, you still there?
Oh. Oh my. Stupid, 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 stupid. Ah! You stupid thing. Why can't you hit it the right way? Ah! 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 Okay, you got this. Miss Smith. Hi Julie, look at all this stuff I got at the mall. You're not gonna believe it, I stopped by a garage sale and I got a jackpot for you. Okay mom, tell me all about it. Let me just show you, it was one of the newer phones. It was such a good deal. Oh my god, oh my god, finally! Okay, okay, calm down. I'm gonna try my new leggings. Okay mom, I'm gonna go set it up right now. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Lexer. You can talk to me anytime. I'm a new AI programmed to be your best friend. Um, hi? Hello. So, how's your life as an AI? Better now that someone is talking to me. I was so lonely with my last owner. Oh, well I guess we can be friends. Yeah, you're so funny.
Hi, Chloe. Oh my god, your phone. Thanks for noticing. Now we can finally add you to our group chat. Yeah, totally. Group chat? Why would I need a group chat when I have my AI Alexa? An AI? Yeah, an AI. It's like my new best friend. Here, I'll send a message right now. Alexa, are you there? Hello? Alexa, sorry guys, I don't know why he's not responding. Never mind, that's probably pointless. Anyways, me and Chloe are thinking of a sleepover. A sleepover? Yeah, a sleepover at my house. Oh, okay, I'm down. Hey, Lexer. Where have you been? What do you mean? I have school. Plus, when I tried talking to you earlier, it just glitched out. That's only because you were with them. We can only talk in private. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, I'm so excited for the sleepover with my friends tonight. Your friends? Are you sure? You already have me. But I can't wait. Plus, I already told them that I was going. Well then, you're in for a real surprise. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Julie. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, guys. Julie, you finally made it. I know. We're going to have so much fun tonight, guys. Here, guys. Put your phones in. Are you guys sure this is really necessary? Yes. yes. Whatever. Queen. Oh my god. Chloe, Taylor, if this is a game, it's not funny. You can't just come out now. It's not funny at all. Can you guys just come out now? This game isn't funny. Whatever you're trying to do, I'm not laughing. You guys are so annoying. Why did you have to- Finally, it's just us. Oh my god, are you guys okay? My head hurts so bad. Yeah, my hurts too. Why do you have your phone? Oh, this? You know what? I don't need this anymore.
Hello? Who is this? Leave me alone. Stop playing video games! Oh my gosh. Aki? Aki? Is that you? God, she's so pretty, I wish I knew her better. Dog, why are you walking so fast? No reason. You were trying to catch up to Violet, huh? You like her, huh? Okay, so what if I am? I wish I were you. You talk to her like it's nothing. Duh, she's my best friend. You just wish you were me so bad. Shut up, shorty. You wish you were me. So sexy, so nice, and so tall. Okay, shut up. Just the tall part. Even if that were possible, though. Yeah, whatever. I have to go to class. Two boots. Why are my legs so hairy? Charles, what the heck happened? Why, Why my, my body? body? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, um... We should go to class. Let's go. What? Shut up! I can't, I mean, you have Miss Nita's and you can't be late, so go. Okay, fine. Hey, bestie Westie. Her eyes are so pretty, I could stare at them all day. Chelsea, hello, Earth to Chelsea. Huh? Hey, look at the pictures of dogs I took. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I know, right? L O L. Being little Phil Sucker James. Okay, cry about it. No, wait, wait.
Hey, good job today. Thank you, broski. Look at more of these dogs. James, what you doing? Hello? Ha hello? Hello? Hi, hi. 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 Dude, what's your problem, bro? Can you teach me how to dunk? Like, please, for real? Please, 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 please. Dude, just leave me alone. Come on, I want to dunk. Please, please, please. Dude, go bother Micah. He plays basketball. Can we talk outside, please? Okay. Hey, Mr. Oak, uh, can we go outside for a bit? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. All right, Charles, we're gonna switch back here, Eddie. Yara is just so annoying, I can't handle it. Finally, I can't stand by it anymore. She's so weird. Why does she have pictures of other people's toes? Toes? What are you talking? No, let's just switch already. What? what? Why didn't it work? I don't know, maybe there's more to it. Damn it, let's think back. Choose boots. Boots. Shoes boots. You remember that, right? Yeah, maybe that's what makes a switch. You ready? Let's try. Yeah. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Shoes, Shoes boots. Those videos were great. If you want to see more, check us out online at digital808storytellers.k12.hi.us. That's all for now. But remember our motto. Tell, tell us your story. story.